hello welcome back to another video today we'll be making this very delicious zobo drink as the weather is so hot you want to actually make this drink here i have my washed zobo leaves you really want to wash that because you know how it is in the market i'll be using cucumbers watermelon pineapples and i'll also be using lemongrass in this this is my first time actually adding lemongrass in my zobo so let's see how it turns out here i also have my anista i have my cloves and i have my ginger and i also have my cinnamon sticks to add flavor to my zobo drink i'll just wash my cucumber and then we'll slice this in little bits after washing we're just going to cut this in little pieces because we'll, we'll be boiling this in the pot also with the zobo to help you release all the flavor so uh, you can see how i'm doing that just cut them very little so it won't take too much space in the pot and then i'll be adding that into my pot after cutting them you can use as much as you want depends on the quantity of zobo you want to make i'll be using this watermelon i'll be using the watermelon and my pineapple as sweeteners i will not be adding any artificial sweetener in this drink or you can go ahead and add sugar if you want to but i just wanted you to just have that as natural taste i just wanted to use pineapple watermelon to just sweeten this you can add oranges if you want also but i do not have any orange lying around in the house at the moment and i didn't feel like going out to go and get any oranges so i'll just use the watermelon and pineapple as sweeteners you can use any type of sweetener you want if you really want something natural you just want to use fruits as sweeteners or sugar can also go if you want sugar in your zobo drink this drink is very very nutritious and it's very nice especially now that the weather is so hot you want to really make this drink better than taking fizzy drink this is actually more healthier and as you're making it at home you know what you're adding in it and it's very simple and easy to make at home when you make it yourself you know what and what you're putting inside you know what you want you know what you don't want in it so it's actually a very good one to make but it is advisable for pregnant women to be careful taking this drink you should ask your doctor or your midwife before taking zobo drink if you're pregnant here i'm also going to be slicing my pineapple it's already washed because we'll be using the back also i'll be boiling that and i'll also be boiling the pineapple the flesh of the pineapple as you can see i'm doing in this video we'll just slice this also in small pieces before we'll be boiling that to help release the flavor and also use the flesh to sweeten we'll be blending the flesh also as you can see i'm putting the back into the pot and then i'll also go in with the flesh of the pineapple pineapples are also very healthy so you see it's a very very nice drink to make at home easy and it's not a very fast drink to make because it takes a lot of time to release all the flavors all the coloring of the zobo so you need to be a very patient person making this and then because of all the stains it just lives in your kitchen but then again it's actually worth the stress now we're adding our lemongrass we just fold that in or you can cut them into little bits it depends i got this lemongrass right outside my house so i didn't need to buy that so we'll just put that and then we'll go in with our spices my star anise cloves cinnamon sticks and then our ginger i'm just going to slice the ginger into little bits you can use the back you can use it without the back you can use it with the back it doesn't really matter i'm just going to cut that also and um, put it into the pot too after cutting everything that's it we'll just add water into the pot because you need water to boil the zobo to help it to really cook and release its flavor we're going to boil this for 30 so minutes taking out the pineapple and the cucumber for blending you should be careful so you don't take out the back of the pineapple because that is just going to spoil the taste of your zobo now we're going to 
blend this you be blending this just make sure you blend it as much as i was doing this and they took the light after blending this we we'll use a cheese cloth to just filter it so we get the juice out of it i'll also be blending my watermelon also i'll blend those also and squeeze the juice out of it this is the juice from the pineapple the watermelon and the cucumber i'll just turn it into back into the pot of the zobo and just let this sit for I, um this is um in the morning so i'll just let this sit till later in the evening because you really want the zobo to release its color its flavor i'm doing this this morning i'm just going to keep this till later in the evening like eight hours by then everything is already released into the water see how thick it is see how red it is so this is my zobo after sieving i got a lot from that see how red it is this drink is very very nice to make and it's best served cold with ice you enjoy it more when it's very cold if you like videos like this let me know in the comment section share my video like my videos and drop your comments in my comment section drop your questions and i'll try my best to answer them pregnant women should be careful taking zobo or you should ask your doctor if it's okay for you to take this drink because it can induce an abortion in pregnant women so you really need to confirm from your doctor before taking this you can sweeten this with sugar if you want it depends on how sweet you want it to be thank you for watching and i'm hoping to see you in my next video bye